the cultural norm um, in those mountain villages was not to pay any particular attention to individuals who were handicapped in, in any way. Life was such a struggle for everybody that it, it was simply the luck of the draw. Carlos's problems were a consequence of polio when he was a child. Axe decided that uh, we would do all that we could to make life reasonable for for Carlos. Mi nombre es Carlos Iván López. Este tengo 32 años. Más crecí aquí en aquí en Carrizalito. Ya que la la madre que me crió a mí la se le cortó la vista y no ya no mira, ella no puede hacer nada. Yo era el responsable de cuidarla a ella. He worked at a lumber mill across the road uh, stacking lumber. Now this seems like almost an impossible job for somebody who had his um, degree of, of handicap, but then there was very little alternative. When, when he moved up to Carlos Alito, he and his mother had many, many needs. Cuando estuvimos en La Habana nosotros no teníamos casa, nada. Yo le, yo le decía a ella, algún día le digo, vamos a trabajar, le digo, para, para ir alzando, le digo, el dinero, le digo, para comprar sin, para mandar a hacer una casita en que era pequeña, le digo yo. Pero gracias a Dios que un día, este todo el grupo, de, me, me dijeron que me iban a ayudar para, a comprarle en fin, para mandar a hacer una casita. Y gracias a Dios lo logré. Everybody there is, is a farmer. They raise corn and beans. For Carlos, this was a real, real challenge. There were certain times of the year, planting and harvesting, when so much had to be accomplished in such a short period of time that uh, it was extraordinarily difficult. So we began basically subsidizing Carlos by paying for workers to help him at those uh, at those critical times una parte de 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 maíz vendo una parte y lo otro lo pongo para para volver a trabajar y me ayuda bien lo que voy a vender lo mando a vender así lo bajo al rosario then it became increasingly apparent that he couldn't read or write and trying to manage a farm, trying to hire other people, trying to sell his, uh, his corn and, bean, and beans at a reasonable price was essentially an impossibility because he just didn't have the, the uh, educational wherewithal to deal with even simple mathematics or to to write or read in an, an agreement. For example, now I'm helping in the school. Well, no, then they came and looked for another professor to give me a class. First of all, they paid the teacher to give me a hour class. But from there, he didn't have patience, so they decided to change. They looked for another person who was more voluntary de darme de darme el, el horario de clases completo la muchacha ella no ella me pone a leer a mí con paciencia bien ella me deja que lea bien que estudie si sí, no no sabía nada leer ni escribir nada y ahora ya le entiendo no le no le voy a decir que le entiendo bastante pero sí algo me gusta leer español y nada más matemáticas sí sí ciencia Carlos, he was remarkably agile. Over the years, that couldn't persist. The way that uh, he had to use his joints in such contorted positions would make it impossible for the joints to uh, remain healthy over an extended period of time. Este, ellos me dijeron que me iban a comprar un caballo. O sea que primero fue así. La idea era comprar unas 10 ruedas para, para que yo anduviera. Era difícil aquí donde vivo yo para comprar unas 10 ruedas. Era difícil para andarla porque muy muy feo y, 
Y mejor dijeron que mejor era mejor un caballo para, para que yo saliera para mm -hmm. cualquier lado. Now we somehow assumed that Carlos knew how to ride a horse. And we bought the horse for $85. And we purchased and had modified a saddle so that Carlos could put his shins in the stirrups. Primero no tenía como ir para traer el, el maíz de allá del campo de trabajo para acá. Tenía que pagar. Y ahora, gracias a Dios, no. Por, con él, este, ya, ya no pago ya porque él me ayuda. Un poquito. Es bien mafito. Bien. Mira, tengo una otra vida de él. Yo. ¿Sí? Por ejemplo, si voy a ir a La Habana, voy en él, a Rosario. Antes me cansaba para ir a una parte así porque no... Solo caminando, caminando, no, y ahora ando más descansado porque, gracias a Dios, lo tengo. As he has become more independent, Carlos comes to see us, just to see us. <clears throat> and uh, he doesn't have a list of needs or wants. So, oftentimes, there are little things that need to be done back up in the village, messages that need to be carried back, medicines that need to be carried back. And Carlos is, um, is just delighted when he, can, when he can help. And I think that uh, we have learned a lot in helping handicapped individuals, and I think the villagers have learned a lot. One of the things that ACTS has helped them to understand is that they should and would and could take better care of the handicapped uh, amongst them. It's remarkable from our standpoint how just a relatively few resources can make a huge difference in, in the life of a person like Carlos. Y gracias a Dios que, que Dios es bueno con mí también y yo le pido a Dios que lo guarde también a ellos. Actually, the sun is coming up now, and it actually does come over there. I have no idea. It's been like.